we're going to take a look at the square roots of perfect squares. What is the square root of 1? So basically, they're asking us what number, when we multiply it by itself, is going to give us 1. Well, 1, right? 1 times 1 gives us 1. What is the square root of 49? And again, they're basically saying what number multiplied by itself gives us 49. Well, 7 times 7 is 49. So that means the square root of 7, or I'm sorry, the square root of 49 is 7. What is the square root of 25? So again, we're saying what number times itself would give us 25? Well, since 5 times 5 gives us 25, another way to say that is that the square root of 25 is 5. What is the square root of 36? Well, looking at our answer choices, we're thinking which one of these numbers multiplied by itself would give me 36? Well, 6 would. 6 times 6 is 36. What is the square root of 25? Which number multiplied by itself gives us 25? 5 times 5. What is the square root of 1? Which number times itself gives us 1? 1 times 1. What is the square root of 100? Well, which one of these numbers times itself gives us 100? 10. What is the square root of 64? Well, 64 is 8 times 8, so the square root of 64 would be 8. What is the square root of 9? Well, looking at your answer choices, which one times itself gives us 9? Well, 3 times 3 would. What is the square root of 0? Well, what number times itself would give us 0? 0 times 0. What is the square root of 225? So we're thinking what number times itself gives us 225? And it's 15. What is the square root of 1? 1 times 1 gives us 1, so square root is 1. What is the square root of 4? Well, what number times itself would give you 4? 2 times 2 gives you 4, so our square root is 2. What is the square root of 81? We're thinking what number times itself gives us 81? 9 times 9 does, so the square root of 81 is 9. What is the square root of 144? Well, what number times itself gives us 144? 12 times 12. So 12 is the square root of 144.